We met in St. Cloud downtown at DB Searles when it was DB Searles. Um, I had recognized him from the gym near campus and had a little bit of liquid courage to go up and talk to him. Left with his phone number and we've been together ever since. That sounds right to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I had seen her at the gym prior to running into her at DB Searles and I recognized her as the girl that always had like the anger expression on her face when she was working out. <laughs> it's very serious. <laughs> and then after we just texted and Snapchatted for maybe a month or so and then we finally went out. DB's is very special to us. Yes. <laughs> Does it sound like health politics? <laughs> no, because we met there. Now we're getting married. On our first date, I picked her up from her apartment and we went to Applebee's. And she actually ended up paying the tab, I think, because one of my friends from high school that I hadn't seen in years was sitting right across the bar from us and kept trying to get my attention. So he left me at so the bar I for a second? To, so I was forced to go say hi. And then when I came back, she had already paid, paid the, the tab. So then we drove to uh, the movie theater and saw some space movie. I don't remember what it was. I don't either. Did we know there was going to be a second date? Yeah. Yes, most definitely. Mm -hmm. I knew when we were grabbing drinks, the conversation was super easy. It was just flowing. It wasn't awkward. We were laughing. We did not run out of anything to talk about the whole time. So I met her family. I went over on a Sunday to meet her family and to shoot guns. And the first thing that I thought of like when I met her dad was that he's like six five and had a big he has a big red bushy beard and he had like a forty five strapped to his side. So I was immediately like, Okay, I'm gonna get shot if I like do anything wrong. Very intimidating. But he's man. very we're very close to him. He's a big teddy bear. <laughs> But he's at the first glance, he's very intimidating. I would say the first time meeting both of his parents, it was very easy. They welcomed me with open arms and made me feel very comfortable, and I love them. Couldn't have asked for better in laws. I proposed on my birthday at Top Golf, and I had wanted to do it then because we invited all of like my family and her family to come join us. And I wanted them all to be there, but I didn't want to make it super obvious if I invited them all to like a restaurant or something where she'd know right away. So she was hitting her balls or whatever. And I, you can see how many they have left on the screen. She was almost done. I went and got the ring out of the bag. So then when she turned around, he was down I was down. And then she said,
said yes. And then I started crying like a little baby. <laughs> I would like to thank, obviously, our parents who have done so much. Thank you to Spencer's parents for raising a good man to Mary and thank you for everyone who has stepped in to stand by our side for our big day. Well said. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm just excited to be surrounded by all of our friends and family and hear you. My dad and my brother are for sure gonna cry and your mom. Well my mom will too. <laughs> a lot of happy tears. We are going to go to Ireland. So excited. Um, I'm excited to grow with you and watch you grow as a husband and a dad. I'm excited to continue like moving forward with their life.